we interrupt this program to bring you a TV2 Action News special report. Good afternoon, I'm Terry Casey. We are live at Charleston International Airport where just moments ago, an aircraft carrying the Prince of Wales, Prince Charles, just touched down. It is now pulling up to the tarmac. You can probably hear the noise behind me and can see it. The aircraft with the Prince was scheduled to arrive about 20 minutes ago. Obviously, it has not. Just coming in now. It has been preceded by a uh, military cargo aircraft from which baggage for the Prince and his entourage has been unloaded. That plane is still on the ground. The aircraft now turning about. Motorcade is ready. Governor Campbell is among the dignitaries who are waiting to greet Prince Charles on his arrival in Charleston, as is Charleston Police Chief Reuben Greenberg, who, as you may know, is on loan to Alabama. I saw the chief just a moment ago. Uh, he is down on the other side of a fence where all media is being restricted. Now, you've heard about the red carpet. They are rolling it out literally. What would a royal arrival be without unfurling such a carpet? And there it goes, the door opening now from the aircraft. The Prince just arriving in Charleston from a stay in Florida. He will be here for two days to attend something called the Business in the Community. It's an international conference of which Prince Charles is president. The dignitaries now lined up. I see uh, Charleston County Council Chairman Linda Lombard among them. Governor Campbell at the head of the line. Some beginning to emerge from the aircraft now. A blue folder handed one gentleman. There is heavy police security here at Charleston International Airport for the Prince's arrival. Charleston Police, North Charleston Police, State Department security also on hand. As you see, the red carpet has been rolled out to greet His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, Prince Charles. He is no stranger to the Low Country. He has been here before. Now we're seeing some beginning to emerge from the aircraft. And as we await for the uh, Prince to disembark, I'll tell you just briefly a little bit about this business in the community organization of which he is president. It is here to hold an international conference of business executives from all around the world, the US and Britain, obviously, but also business leaders from Canada. There he is, there's Prince Charles, now walking on the red carpet, shaking hands, greeting Governor Campbell, and going on down the line. There is a lot of excitement here because of this, and the Prince's visit and this international conference, though significant in its own right, is also very important for Charleston in that it is one more event after Hurricane Hugo that will show not only the nation but the world that the Charleston area is recovering from that storm and recovering vigorously, economically, and better than many perhaps would have anticipated. As you know, uh, preceding this arrival over the weekend was the Southeastern Wildlife Expo, which is the uh, bellwether event prior to the spring tourist season in Charleston. That was another major event that began to show folks across the country that we're doing all right. This, of course, is drawing international attention and will just bring that point home even more. The Prince, dressed in a dark blue suit with a light blue shirt, taking time to chat as he goes on down the line. He will, well, actually, we're not certain what he will do when he reaches the end of the red carpet, whether there are plans uh, for him to go inside or whether he will just climb into the motorcade. It appears that's where he will be heading. Prince Charles now making his way to the motorcade. On the top of the terminal at Charleston International Airport are uniformed officers. They are armed with high-powered rifles and scopes just in case. The security presence here is tremendous. Normally 12 to 15 uniformed officers are assigned to the airport anyway. That is at least doubled or tripled right now, not including undercover officers. The Prince now preparing to climb into the car. The motorcade will leave Charleston International Airport and head downtown for the beginning of the session, business in the community. The Prince is scheduled to make a speech to the opening session at the Old Exchange Building later this afternoon, and uh, it is fitting that it will be in the Old Exchange Building since that was a seat of government when South Carolina was a British colony. 
Now, you may see uh, Chief Reuben Greenberg down by one of the, the cars in the motorcade. Uh, Chief Greenberg is back to us now. He is in a gray suit. And he must be delighted to be back in Charleston. So there won't be much, uh, much ceremony here at the airport other than rolling out the red carpet and climbing into the motorcade. Uh, the police escort now beginning to pull out and uh, the motorcade will follow several limousines. By the way, I talked with a limousine company. They are not allowed to raise their rates even for royalty. So the standard fare is $75 per limo. They are now departing Charleston International Airport for a quick ride downtown where the Prince will stay today and tomorrow for this international conference of business leaders. TV2 Action News has crews all along the way. We will be covering Prince Charles during this entire stay here in Charleston prior to his departure for another session in Washington. And uh, you can see what has happened today with the Prince tonight at 6 on TV2 Action News. I'm Terry Casey, live for the arrival of His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, at Charleston International Airport. This has been a TV2 Action News special report. We now return you to our regularly scheduled program, already in progress.